It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, uh, we're just a matter of like, what? It's 1, 1 a.m. Um, as I'm shooting this. So we're like, maybe what, like anywhere from 13 to 16 hours away from Conor Ben fighting Chris Ben here at the time of me shooting this. You know, um, this video and what I'm going to say in it applies to Conor Ben whether he wins against Chris Van Heerden or he loses against Chris Van Heerden. So listen up and listen up real good. For a long time now, David Avenitia has been calling out Conor Ben and he deserves a fight because he's, he's, been, he's European champion. He's that next step that Conor Ben has to have in, that, in his progression, uh, in my opinion, to get to the world level. He's a guy that hasn't just won the European belt, but he's defended it consistently and been a good champion of the belt against the, you know, the domestic level opposition in Europe. Because he can't get those fights at world level. He already knocked out and exposed one Eddie Hearn, um, you know, hype job. He proved so far, I mean, unless he bounces back at this moment in time, he's a hype job in, in, in Josh Kelly. Um, and now there seems to be a concerted effort, not just from Eddie Hearn, but also uh, Connor Ben to duck and avoid David Avenician. Now, David Avenician, or. Conor Ben, when talked about, when, 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 when David Avenition was mentioned to him in a, in a recent interview, he says, I quote, I'm eating good. But then he says, I'll fight whoever they put in front of me, which in other words means he's not going to be like too assertive or aggressive when it comes to fighting the, 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 the guys around his level, um, like Avenition or, or guys like Ennis or, or, or tease the other young fighters in the weight class, you know? Um, now he's fighting Chris Van here in a matter of hours. He's a safe opponent. He's 34 years old. He's... Um, light punching southpaw. His last fight was against Chris Algieri, who was 37, was inactive, and even in his prime was a light punching fighter. Um, that's what it is. Now, um, as far as far as far as um, David Avedisian, he says um, we're in a different situation. We're in a different situation than the than Frank Warren and his mob. They're doing their own thing. I feel like I'm doing the right thing and have a bright future. Who else is Avedisian going to fight? We are challenging big names. We want to do. Uh, we want the big names. I'll fight whoever they put in front of me. The bigger name, the better. I'm not interested in either of them. Avenician and Flor Florian Marku, they can fight each other. How about that? Stop calling me out. You two go fight each other. Go on. How about you fight Ekal Esselman? Stop worrying about what I'm doing. I'm eating good, and I'm not worried about what you're doing. Now, listen. I made it a point because I've, I've met this man in real life. I've talked to him off camera. I've talked to him on camera. I like Conor Ben. I am. A, I like Conor Ben. I would even go as far as to say that I am a Conor Ben fan. I, I like. I like. I liked him as a person when I met him. I like watching him fight. I've enjoyed his development from, you know, the tough fights against Sergey Pinoid and and and, and UC Cabola and things like that, to now where he's at fighting these guys at world level. Um. So I appreciate his story. I, I I appreciate his journey in boxing, but it's getting to a point now where he sounds like a fucking diva, like a big diva. Um. If anything, right, he sounds like Canelo. Like, now look, you guys know I don't have, uh, I'm very critical of Canelo, but that's Canelo. The, 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 Canelo's a man that's won titles in multiple weight classes, been lineal champion, you know, fought on some of the biggest pay per views in the history of the sport. Um, you know, Canelo Alvarez can sell 70,000 tickets on the, given the right occasion. So it's a bit different when it's Canelo. I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying he gets a pass. But he has more leeway to do that because of what he brings to the table and what he can generate as far as money, interest, viewership, and subscriptions. You know, Connor Ben is getting a is getting way too big for his bridges. Now we'll start with Avenician. Avenician is the kind of fighter that you haven't fought in your career. A, a, a strong, sturdy, um, durable, hard punching fighter. A guy with good stamina. A guy that. Uh, you know, doesn't really have that 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 uh, snapping power or a lot of speed, but he has that thudding power, the kind of power that well, it, it's slow. You don't have hand speed like that, but if he lands, you know, he can stop you right in your tracks. And Ben hasn't been fighting those guys. In fact, Ben's been fighting the light punching fighters, blowing up forty pounders. You know, so um, we we have to acknowledge that here on True School Sports. You know, Florian Marcou. Look, I watched Florian Marcou fight a, a number of times. Um, I don't think he's like the best fighter in the world. I'm not, I'm not the highest on Florian Marco, but he's, 
He's another guy that I think, um, even if you, you want to take a slight step down from Avanisha, he's the perfect fight for Conor Ben. You know, European level fighter, um, mixed it in with some good guys at that level. Um, you know, good boxing ability, some athleticism to boot. Um, got solid punching power. You know, on, on paper, a, 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 that's a fight that I'll favor Conor Ben in, but it's a it's a good matchup. And it's like Conor Ben. And I hate I hate to I hate to go this way I, I hate to go down this route but I ha I have to I I was just watching a um an ad on the zone which had Conor Ben and his dad in it on Instagram um you know and and I hate to say it man but it looks like you know the the rich boy is getting a bit too big for his bridges and it, it's like he's eating off of his dad's name like I and I hate to say that I'm not trying to talk shit about Conor Ben because I I do quite like him a lot but. When he fought Adrian Granados, who's not known as a as a uh, as a boxer or a mover, and he decided to change his style for that fight, and Conor Ben had a hard time finding him in the ring, showing the extra bit of quality, and, and didn't stop him. You know, he whined about it during the fight and after the fight, and he sounded like you know he sounded like just a baby, honestly, just a baby. So um, he sounds like a diva here. Um, he's no he's nobody to dictate terms to anybody. Not not Avenishian. Not Florian Marku, not Michael McKinson, not Esau uh, Ezekoman or whatever his name is. Like those, them four names I named you, th those are the kind of guys he should be fighting. But instead, we get guys like um, Chris Van Heerden, which you know he may beat him, he may lose to him, but in the event that he looks sensational against him and knocks him out, he's gonna go run to Sky Sports and he's gonna say, "Oh, well, uh, uh, I did something that Jerron Ennis couldn't could, couldn't do. I, I stopped him." But then when it comes time to be asked about fighting Jerron Ennis, you're going to say you're not ready for him. Because when I interviewed Conor Ben, that's what he said. When you talk to Eddie Burt Heron about him fighting the guys like Jerron Ennis or Virgil Ortiz, you know, he don't want them to fight those guys. They're criticizing Avanesian for fighting, uh, what, was, what was the guy's name, Metz, David Metz. But they could have fought um, Conor Ben. Conor Ben could have fought him. So it's just like, man, look, at some point... You gotta put your big boy pants on and, and really be about what you say you are. You gotta be about what you portray on Instagram. You gotta be about what you what you portray on TV, because um, you don't become a real one, a, a known as a true warrior of the sport by talking about it and saying it. You go in there by by you, you prove that by action. You prove that by getting in there with another real one at or above your level and being everything that you say you are. So you know, um, Conor Ben's behavior is just getting very, very diva-like as his career progresses, which I don't understand because this is a guy that not too long ago was getting his ass beat by guys like Cedric Pino and club fighters. So, you know, stay humble because you might find yourself uh, on the wrong side of the L. It probably won't be against Chris Van Heerden, but Eddie Heron better be very careful matching you because you might have another Cedric, Cedric Pino on your hands. But uh, you guys let me know what you think. Conor Ben saying that um, he's not interested in fighting the guys at European level like David Avenician against, uh, you know, guys like... Um, Florio Marku, you know, guys like that. So, uh, yeah, L let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So, until next time, take it right. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god